All right, all right, Knights of Apollo. What is up, guys? Hope you're doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're ready for a grand adventure because we are playing War Tales. I've covered this game many times on my channel, and I absolutely love it. And here's the exciting part. It is fully releasing. It's leaving early access, and it is a full release here on April 12th. So very, very soon. If not, if it might be today, depending on when this video comes out, but full release of the game very awesome and today's video is sponsored by shiro games i want to give them a huge thank you for one making this game it's awesome and two sponsoring uh this channel uh, well yeah sponsoring this video and supporting my channel uh seriously i cannot i cannot speak highly enough of this game when they offered me another sponsorship i was like yeah absolutely because i i love the game it, it is so awesome in fact i did a co-op uh playthrough of the first region in this game with jackie fish so if you look down in the video description the very first link is a link to get the game get the game it's very fun and uh if you enjoy adventure we'll go over what the game's all about if you've never heard about it uh now below that is another link to watch the co-op with me and jackie fish i had so much fun i look forward every day of playing that because it was just so it's just so fun it was just so fun but anyways war tales if you've never heard of it Guys, uh, if you like Bannerlord, there's some similarities to Bannerlord. The fact that it's a sandbox, it's open. It's an open world of adventure. You've got your squad of heroes that you will do missions. It, there's RPG progression, there's crafting. You can design these characters to go different routes, you know, to take different skill sets that will aid you on your different quests. There's also missions where you have to make decisions on who you are going to support and it changes the story. It, it's like, it's, you'll have different outcomes. So the replayability is amazing. And here's my favorite thing about this game. It's a four player Co it has four player co-op guys how many times have you played an rpg that was single player and you're just like ah i wish i wish this was co-op i wish i could play with my buddies war tales has that i i you know there's just something so fun about going on an adventure with your friends and going through you know funny moments and challenging moments and working together i'm telling you the co-op in this is so good it is so good and the fighting it's turn-based so it's very challenging if you guys like XCOM it's kind of XCOM-esque uh, there's some abilities you can use it's very strategic very fun again adds to that um, RPG progression developing char characters you want them to be tanky you want them to be bloodthirsty kind of like glass cannons uh, there's an Iron Man mode there's troop and resource management you can have you can customize your camp there's so many cool cool stuff that you can do in this game. It is so much fun. I cannot uh, I cannot st stress this enough. You got to get the game, all right? You got to get it because if you're looking for a fun RPG with friends, it's an open world. It's awesome, and there's just so much to do. So uh, what we're going to do is just start a new game, guys, and we'll kind of go over the basics uh, to get new players going. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fully out. Don't forget, link down in the video description. Uh, get the uh, get the game. It is out April 12th. So let's do a new game In here is where it starts off. You can kind of pick um, The different backgrounds like if you see here, there's different starting your companions and you start off with different um, starting resources uh, So you can kind of pick what you want to go for. I think I'm gonna go with um, apprentice friends looking for an adventure and then let's see your companions are used to long walks are cunning fighters show incredible resilience excellent at slap games <laughs> and quick learners so you can see we get different oh critical damage increased by 10 playing those slap games you know uh constitution that's pretty good for like you know health and stuff uh staying in the fight experience gain from combat increased by 10 percent or used to long walks reduces the speed at which the troops fatigue Ooh, I'm gonna do use the long walks and then if they had a flaw it would be uh, a somewhat meek appearance <laughs> no, no 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 that's not it let's see let's not go with that uh, let's see reduces the troops happiness by one see eternal this oh man I feel like I have this in real life uh, let's see uncommon uh, bout of bad luck critical hit reduced by three very hard time getting up Danger during rest. Okay, so sometimes, you know, when you're resting, you're vulnerable, you know, in the camps. Willpower reduced by one. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. 
reduces. Can I? Can I? I have to pick one. Ah. Let's see. I guess we'll do danger while resting. Increase by 10%. Oh, and here's different exploration modes. This is interesting. This is. I don't remember this the last time I played, so this might be more of a newer update. But see, the difficulty of all regions adapts uh, dynamically to your group size and your unit's power. The game will always offer you a challenging uh, suited uh, challenge suited suited to your troops. Sorry, my reading skill is like fifth fifth grade level. Region lock exploration. Each region in the world has set difficulty from the start. You will have to expand and improve. So I personally, oh man. So one's kind of like, they're both fun in their own way because one is like, you, you have to get to like certain quests and do certain things before you can explore to other regions. But if you want more of a fluid, I guess you could argue more realistic because you're not like region locked. I'm gonna go with region lock though. I, personally, I, I enjoy that because it's like, I don't know, you wanna get everything, everything done in each region. Uh, we'll do, we'll do experience for, for everything. Uh, let's see, save mode. Let's see, we'll just do free. I don't want anything too challenging. And I'm gonna stick with the the heroes we got here. We got C Sighar, their their alert, Tybar, and Guttus. So we got a swordsman, a brute, an archer, and a ranger. So they all have different skills. If you click on them. You can see their abilities here. This guy has a stab. This looks like a kind of like a assassin. A wrath does more damage. Very cool. Thigh bar. He has pound. He also has wrath. And you can go in. You can change the names of your heroes. You can change their abilities. You know uh, their sex. Everything like that. Um, if you don't like, it's not like you're stuck with this. But I'm gonna. I'm just gonna let fate decide. Um, I'm gonna call the pony uh bill let's give it a little lord of the rings reference there uh bill very nice okay so there we go here's our unexpected band of heroes ready to begin their adventure all right here we go so this is the first thing you're gonna see when you spawn in and this is the introduction to this beautiful open world uh so um here we are here's our squad and um you can see that uh, you can go anywhere. It's a, like I said, it's an open world, guys. And um, this is kind of like the campaign view, in, sort of speak, uh, where you can adventure around, find resources, come across bandits, which we're about to do right here. We might as well just go confront. Actually, you can also collect resources. This is very important. So you can craft things with them. You can make, you know, um, healing items with it you can make oh here we go let's fight so this is like the introduction battle that's going to show you like what it's all about we got some hoodlums and a poacher here so let's end their uh let's end their unhonorable career and uh this is where the fun begins i really do uh enjoy the turn base because it's a nice change from real time um it, it's like chess but on many 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 layers um and there's just so many ways you can win battles all right, so this is kind of like deployment phase. And um, let's see. We've got only two enemies. It's not going to be a big deal, but actually, is it two? Yeah, it's two, but I don't... Oh, there's the other one. we got the poacher down here, and then we have the hoodlum over here. The, what we want is we want our tankier guys to kind of engage. You want to get these guys stuck in engagement. So um, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to take the archer here. I'll just drag them over here. And again, this is your deployment phase. You know, you can move your troops around. You can get them set up here. Um, so I think I'm going to charge in. I'm, you know what? I'm going to charge in. I'm going to put you here. I'm going to charge. And also, you can look at the order. So, oh, that's our, okay. Okay, sorry. Uh, I kind of forgot about this. The order of fighting is displayed here on the bottom. And you can pick which unit you want to engage first. So we can have two units engage, and then it's their turn, this person's turn, and then two more units, and then it's this person's turn. Uh, so we, this is what we're going to do. We're going to engage Tybar, because he's like our tank, into the hoodlum. Then we can shoot the hoodlum. In fact, I'm going to get really close. We can shoot the hoodlum with our archer. 
And then the, this hoodlands turn is going to go. And then we get two more turns. And then I'm going to charge into this guy, the poacher. Because he's just an archer. If you can close in on archers, you're good to go. All right. So I think we're ready. So let's go ahead and begin this by moving our hero here. High bar. And we're going to go ahead and... Um, we're going to go ahead and, and attack... Oh, yeah. So we've got him engaged. And you can see this is basically saying, like, you're stuck in engagement. And there, there are ways to get out of engagement. You can knock a person back, which gets them out of engagement and stuff. So that is uh, pretty much done. I don't think he has any more uh, turn abilities. So what you can do is go ahead and hit end turn. And now we click another hero. And again, you can click whatever hero you want to go. But I'm going to go ahead and take my archer. He should be able to fire here. This is going to completely destroy his armor. The top is armor. Below is uh, the health. Nice. In fact, we did a little damage to their main health. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and... I could move him closer. Or her, actually. I could move her closer. I'll just move her right here. And end the turn. And now it's the hoodlum's turn. Perfect. And that's what we want. They, she poisoned... Which kind of sucks, but that's okay. She attacked since she's engaged with our tank. That's that's exactly what we want. Now what we're gonna do is gonna send goddess here. God, God, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> we're gonna charge him in, and you can see his movement range. So we just want to get him next to the enemy, and we can use cleave. Cleave is really good at hitting multiple targets, but since it's only one, obviously. Um, you know, that's all we can do. And that's going to be his turn. And now we have a couple choices here. I think we leave this to a 1v1 because the poacher, remember, once you got, once you have the archers engaged in, in like, close combat, they can't shoot. And so he's going to, like, hit me with his bow. It's not going to do anything. So I'm going to uh, de uh, dedicate all my resources to taking out this po poacher because she's the most uh, dangerous, in my opinion. So I'm going to get behind her and use stab. Oh, yeah. And I could I use wrath here? You know what? So you do have valor points. And these are kind of set. And like certain abilities require valor points. And if you don't have any valor points or not enough valor points, you can't use it. But since we have some valor points, let's go ahead and use it. And this way we can finish her. There we go. Boom. Yeah, we kind of gain like morale there. So that's pretty sweet and that person's done. So it's going to be the poacher watch <laughs> one damage one damage when in doubt rush down the archers. That is the key. All right. So now I have all these turns to go. I'm just going to start uh, moving over to the archer and we'll go ahead and end the turn and then you good sir. They're going to be out of range for a little while. That's okay. And he is taking po poison damage. I'll go ahead and use cleave. Just to get that over with. And then we've got the archer. The archer might... No, the archer has really bad mobility. Which makes sense. Alright, cool. And you're done. So that's going to be the poacher's turn. Alright, so let's do this. And also, guys. The... The way you kind of want to level up heroes, if you want like a certain hero to level up, try to get them the final blow. I think they get a bit more experience. I'm not 100% certain on that, but like if I really want a Sig Sigcar over here, C I, I, that's his, I sh maybe I should have changed his name to like Tom, you know? Anyways, if I want him to get the more XP, I'm going to let him do that. So by doing that, I'll, I'll attack. This might kill him. Nope. And then um, I can end the turn here and then move this hero here and get a nice stab. Oh, 18 damage. Damn. Okay. And then this is where you get the loot. So we've got a lock pit, which is very useful, obviously. Damage dagger and 11 crowns. So um, we're not going to take the human remains. So, and then here's our inventory. We can just drag and drop. Um... So I'm not going to take the remains because I think you can eat human remains, but I do not recommend. I think it gives you like negative traits 
naturally. And uh, we also need repair materials. So after every battle, your armor gets uh, damaged. So we have to repair that. Also, sometimes if their health goes down, you have to heal them with like bandages. So we're going to go ahead and hit repair all. Also, my assassin guy leveled up. And this is where the fun RPG progression element comes in. So we're going to go and click on this. And this is where at level 2, we can pick some different abilities. And you got to kind of think, okay, what is this character going to be all about? He's going to be a glass cannon. He's going to be fast moving. He's going to get behind enemies and backstab. So we want to do um, something that will... Um, kind of help with that different with that play style and i'm looking at these and i'm thinking victory here uh valorous victory every time this unit kills an enemy you gain a valor point that's huge that is huge let's see every time this unit ends their turn next to an ally see this might not be as useful because we might move him around the flank by himself every time this unit ends uh uh next to an enemy is not engaged in combat you Ooh, that also could be two. Uh, these two are probably better than this one. I'm going to go with uh, Victory. Because I feel like this guy is going to be killing a lot of people. <laughs> um, and then Movement. Yes. this is We definitely want to invest in Movement. And then Dexterity is good because it improves Critical Hit. Um, Constitution is more of a health thing. So since this guy is more of an assassin, we don't need as much health. Because hopefully he doesn't get hit. Uh, also, willpower is very useful as well. I'm going to go ahead and do movement because it's plus two. You see this? How it's two pluses? So that's going to increase it by two. So that's obviously very useful. So, And then you can give your companions different professions. So we click on this. You see this little shield with a plus sign? We can give him tinkerer, which uh, increases critical hit by two. Yes, we definitely want to give them that position, uh, uh, pro profession. Now, if we look here, we got to unlock more professions as we go. Now, you can make everyone a tinkerer at, at, at the moment because it is going to increase their crit by two. You might as well do it. But I do recommend once you discover more professions, and you'll do that naturally as you explore the world and like blacksmithing, mining, fishing, and these all give you different skill sets. And you want to give uh, the different skill sets, you want to give the different professions to the different heroes that you have. For example, I think blacksmithing makes you like stronger or have more constitution, something like that. You want to give that to your tank, right? Uh, so that, you know, pretty straightforward. So. Here we go. Um, and then if you press W, this is your challenges. And you can do these challenges um, and it, you'll unlock kind of bonuses and stuff. Uh, there's a trade. So there's um, like battle challenges, trade and craft, crime and chaos if you want to go down that route. And then mysteries and wisdom, which, uh, you know, these are just things that you naturally unlock as you play. So let's just go ahead and explore. Let's go ahead and gather resources. Now, do be warned. Careful where you gather resources because there's... There's, it's a very dark and scary place, guys. And there's many enemies. And here we go. We got a stables over here. We might as well check that out. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Like, I just love this game because it is so open. In some elements, it reminds me of Diablo a little bit. Not obviously the fighting's very different, but like, I don't know. I, I don't know why, but it just does. But you can talk to uh, just anyone you want, and you can make decisions any way you want. It's just a, a fun open world RPG. So let's talk to this guy. So this guy's selling some horseshoes. I think you can also trade with them and make some money. I'm not going to trade anything though. I'm going to keep everything I have. You guys hear those horses? Uh, when I think about how many people I don't uh, that don't shoe their ponies, it makes me want to uh, to pull out their hair a uh, hair I have left. <laughs> Bro, you've got lots of hair. You just trim it short. Come on. So um, we can get horseshoes and this will give bill our horse our pony um movement speed but as you can see it's 50 gold and i think right now i mean we could buy it they tell you what buy a horse from us and i'll show you how the horseshoe oh uh, you'll throw in a horseshoe for free interesting okay well i could let's see let's see with a sharp eye so a perfect everyday companion well, uh, no, I could just get horseshoes. I'm not going to get anything here. 
Uh, also, you can inspect uh, what they have inside their their house, but if you take it, it's considered stealing, and that kind of goes to like your evilness, your roguery. So you know, you gotta be careful with that. Here's a here's walking across the street. These are merchants. I'm not gonna really buy anything. I think the first thing we're gonna do is go to this uh, beginner town. It's uh, Strom Storm Cap Storm Cap. Um, very cool. So, also, when you make discoveries, it goes to your uh, experience, so that's pretty cool. So, let's go to... Yeah, let's just go to the town. And then, once you're in there, you want to go to the tavern. That is where you'll find some fun quest, And you'll find some warriors that want to uh, join you. So, we got a couple different people here. We got, actually, four people. So, let's talk to this lamb... Lamingrick. Man, I'm terrible with names. Words are hard. So it was part of another group of mercenaries, but one morning they left without me. Oh no. So if we inspect them. Oh, it's another archer. Do we really need another archer? I mean, it's not bad, but let's see what other options we have. So we've got this guy. He's highlighted purple. I believe he's got a quest. Psst, you. Yeah, you. You looking for work? I can give you tips and points and towards the missions the kind that pays much better than those measly rewards and the mercenary guild has to offer oh this is cool this is actually i don't remember this the captain of the guard is looking for mercenaries to help him bring okay cool so you can i guess you can buy basically you're paying for like tips little like little hints for missions i'm not going to do that just yet let's go ahead and talk to these other heroes so this one ooh. We got another ranger, which is like another assassin. Do we need another one? Uh, probably not. Um, let's go ahead and go to this last guy. Or girl, sorry. Okay, oh, okay. We're gonna get her because she is a spearman. We don't currently have a spearman in our uh, group. So uh, getting her would actually be pretty useful. Spears are very good at distance um, and they're also good at disrupting. Uh, spears, in my opinion, are a great support unit if you kind of build them that way. Because generally speaking, they're not engaged in the front line. So kind of having them on the flanks or behind, supporting the other heroes. And when I mean support, they can do abilities that like um, uh, make your attack stronger, or your defense stronger, or they can heal. You know, stuff like that. And with the spear, a lot of spear unit, yeah, impale. So that knocks them back one meter. So for whatever reason, if you have a hero that's very low health and they're engaged, they can't run away. So if you use Impale and knock the enemy back, it gives you that opportunity to run away. So I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna definitely hire. Yep, it's gonna cost 30 influence, I believe. And 60 gold. So yeah, I think it's worth it. Awesome. We got a hero here. And then let's go ahead and check out the guild. So basically in the taverns, there's a board of jobs. So we're going to do, let's just do an easy one. Um, and this one will get us 190 gold. We'll go ahead and just accept this one. And it's, you can see it's been marked on the map. And here's the mini map. Now, do we need to get more equipment? Um, see, if we look at our inventory, we've got food. We even have some medicine. And we've got a lot of raw uh, raw materials for repairing. I think we're good. I think we're good. So let's just... But if you're interested, and we, we can kind of check out how to get different equipment and stuff. But you can see there's different markets. So if you needed more food, you can go to the market. If you needed medicines, you can go here to the apothecary. If you needed to repair or buy armor, you can go to the forge. In fact, let's just go to the forge. Click on the forge. Haha! -ha! There we go. So this, we discovered a new profession, the blacksmith. And we want, I th believe here, we want, oh geez, hold on. We got to go, let's make our tank, the brute. We're going to make him, um, just get rid of his profession. Yeah, we're going to make him the blacksmith. And this increases his strength. So you see how the different professions kind of should go to different characters depending on their role. Uh, but we're not gonna I just wanted to acquire that profession before we left so um, And also we can go to other heroes So we'll leave we'll leave her with tinkerer because crits pretty good We'll give him 
more strength. Well, crit, crit would be pretty good with him too. Oh, we'll give him more strength. And also, um, for she should probably. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter too much, but we'll make her a blacksmith as well. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and deep depart from the town. And now we want to close out of this. Uh, we want to go. We want to go to the quest. So if we press, if we press M, you can see we got to go. We got to turn. Is it this way? Oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to go through the town or back into the town. No, we want to. Is it this way? <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm lost. Okay, there we go. It's this way. You can kind of turn the camera angle. Now, I do recommend you stay on the roads unless you're very comfortable with with battles. Now, you of course it's it is useful to get off the road. Oh, let's go down here. Okay. So, I'm going down here. This is water and you see the sparkly thing? I think we'll unlock another profession, which is fishing. Yep. All right. So, or angler, angler. Uh so this, let's see what does this profession do? I don't know. But we'll see when we look at our heroes. So this is our archer. Let's see. Fishing. Willpower. Hmm. Willpower. You know what? We'll give that to our spear. We'll give her the willpower. I've got the power. There we go. Cool. So we just unlock fishing there. And, it, it, you know, it's just like this game. <sighs> you guys ever play like, I don't know. Like, in my opinion, personally, I really enjoy, um... I really enjoy those D and D type games th that you can do with friends, and there's elements of that in this game. Actually, it, there's a lot of elements, but I love how just open world this is, and that it's just so cool how you can. And I don't know, it's just there's there's a lot of fun decisions in the open world. You get to do things. It, it's very sandbox, you know. And like I said, you Bannerlord fans will love this game. Sure, you know, it, the combat's different and, and, you know, the armies and the the kingdom management's different, but the sense of a sandbox is out there, uh, which is which is really cool. Also, another thing, guys, is you want to watch your fatigue. If you get too tired, uh, it's always good to set up camp every once in a while. Uh, but let's check up. Okay, so we're not quite there yet, but we're getting closer to this objective. So we're going to go ahead and get some equipment here. There's another fishing spot down there, but we don't need to fish. It's good to fish because you can get easy food that way. Um, it's pretty much free. I think you need a hook and like some worms to fish, which I don't think we currently have. But here we go. We've got to be getting close here. Uh-oh, fatigue. You're now overtired companions. Okay, so this is where we see how it's like set up camp, set up camp. We want to set up camp here. And we're setting up in the road. And this is a big element of the game, guys. Setting up camp uh, will make it so you can um, obviously rest. So you're ready for the next day. You've got to eat. Now, this is pretty cool. You want to... This is a workshop. We're going to go ahead and send our little assassin guy at the workshop. And that's going to help him... Uh, uh, let's see. Whenever you have him at the workshop, he passively produces... Uh, um, resources so he produces two raw material every rest so you definitely want to do this and there's other things that you can unlock like um, a cooking station and um, I think there's like a leatherer and, or, or tanner or something like that so you can you can unlock more of these little um, benches and put people on them and produce passive resources it's really good you definitely want to do that so what you want to do is when you want to just hurry up and rest, you want to rest. We got 20 food, 20, um, one food it's going to take to feed everyone. That's a bit too much. So we want to, um, let's see, how do we split this? It's the fast. Oh, there we go. So, oh, we're at 20. So we'll let's see. Can we 22 with a little bit of apples, bread and apples. I mean, honestly, that sounds pretty good. This bread looks delicious. And then we don't have to, we don't only owe any wages just yet. So you have to pay your companions. The danger, oh, danger level 80%. Oh, geez. Probably because we're in the middle of the woods. Okay, well, here we go. Let's hope that we don't get attacked. Woo! All right, your troops rested well. 
you've gained two valor points troop happiness went up which is good your troop happiness is at eight your companions are pleased you've gained the following bonus nice and we got two raw material which again is great for repairing resources so guys let's go ahead and leave the camp and continue our journey i mean i like there's a lot of role play elements to this guys it's so cool it really is um and we want to go this way okay so we gotta we kind of gotta go into the dark forbidden woods oh here we go here we go i think this might be our quest this big battle and we might have a tricky choice here it looks like a, a battle's going on yes you there if you are so inclined could you give us a hand um yes let's let's go let's help the 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 captain we're gonna attack we're gonna attack these uh these bandits here so attack and let's uh initiate so another battle we go and this one might be a little bit more complicated since there's a lot more heroes here so uh we are helping the official guard and there are three enemies and when you're fighting with allies you don't get to control them they kind of do their own thing which is fine so first up is going to be this guy and he's an assassin type guy in fact two of them are like assassin type guys and then the archer is the third so what we want to do is get him as close as our tank as close as possible get this guy engaged and uh yeah i think we can go ahead and start and we'll go ahead and move up actually hold on let's make sure we're in my assassin where's my assassin he's over here okay cool i will move the spear up here let's move the sword down here um where's my archer where's my archer i don't know hold on do we need to zoom oh down here ah he was hiding on us I'll put the archer over here. Okay, cool. Let's start this. I'm going to go ahead and move. Oh, sorry. Click on the boot. Move forward and engage in brutal combat. Oh, baby. That was beautiful. We'll go ahead and end the turn. AI's turn. Oh, he's going for the same person. Now, we want to engage. Oh, nice. So, okay, here's we can hit this guy one more time and then we'll get to go again uh before this guy can go so i'm gonna just i'm gonna just hit hit him with everything we got let me just get in a good angle here and ooh, hold on he's still a little bit there we go see how this there was a red x around the ai uh ally that just means there's a potential that I could hit him with the, the arrow. There we go. Four damage. Not much, but whatever. Uh, all right. And then this guy's going to go. Ooh. Dang, he stings. And then we want to go ahead and engage probably this guy next. I wish we had another tanky guy, but we don't. And I'm going to just go ahead and, and engage him here. And hit him with the sword pretty sweet um and then it's gonna be his turn yeah that hurts now next we want to go ahead and engage this poacher and i'm going to send forward my spear and i want to i don't necessarily want to hit him with impale is there like hmm see I can run because impale is gonna push him back hmm maybe I should have thought this through better well I guess I'll go go ahead and pale that's actually not good because now he's gonna be <laughs> oh no let me just get right in front of him okay maybe hopefully that prevents him from shooting no, I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Surrounded and engaged enemy. <laughs> well, I've surrounded this guy thanks to him. 
Okay, that was bad, dude. That was bad. Um, that's okay. We're gonna win this. We gotta... Okay, hold on. Ah, uh, none of these guys are engaged. So this isn't gonna really help out. Whatever. I kind of failed with this. Alright. Let's end the turn. We're gonna get some help here, hopefully. Nice! Did a ton of damage. Oh, nice. What are you doing? Okay, new round has begun. We got to get this guy out of here. That or could he finish? No, we're going to move him out of here. He's too weak. It's going to suck because it kind of uses a turn without doing damage. Okay, perfect. Yeah, he did the bow, the archer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take you and attack. Oh, almost. I could use Wrath. You know what? I'll use Wrath. Because the funny thing is like, yes, Wrath uses a, um, a Valor Point. But I just gained a Valor Point because I finished the kill. And um, let's go ahead and end the turn. And then they're going to be able to get this guy engaged. Woo! Damn, that must have hurt. And then we can go ahead and surround. Yep, surrounded, and that's gonna do extra help do extra damage. And we can use wrath. Sweet. And this is guy, yeah, he's gonna finish him. Boom! Absolutely boom. Alright, so um our archer actually leveled up. And you can see that goddess, since he lost uh is it goddess? I feel like it's not pronounced goddess. It's like whatever uh, but he requires some health which thankfully we have so we're gonna repair all and we're heal and let's go ahead and level up our archer now the archer um we so they the, she has a similar um situation with the assassin type uh, abilities here we want to go with every time a unit is ends their turn next to an ally because the archer is a support unit. They're not going to be in the front line. So we're going to go with that. And then we want critical hit. As much as movement would be great because it's plus two. We're going to do critical hit. Yep. There we go. Kind of make him punch a little bit harder. And then we're going to loot all except for the body there. And we're going to continue. So mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. So now that we finish this mi Oh my gosh. There's, th there's wolves or warthogs. We want to go back. We want to go back uh, to the town. And we want to finish this quest once and for all. And collect our money. And that's essentially, you know, you're a band of mercenaries. You're doing, and, and whether you're good mercenaries or bad mercenaries, that's up to you. Like, that w in that battle, you saw we could have sided with the hoodlums or, 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 or whatever, the bandits. You know, so um, there's a lot of just choices in this game that you can make with your friends and man every time i played with jackie fish we were we were like we we wanted to do opposite things all the time you know so it was pretty funny to just kind of like no we should join them no we should fight them it was pretty funny uh but let's head back to the town and again link to that uh that playthrough that me and jackie did we did the first re so we did this region all the way to where we defeated the like main boss of this region uh so that was it was so much fun man uh i just i enjoyed it so much uh it's just fun playing with jackie again and, and just really being into it um so let's get back to the town we also have some loot to sell which i'll show you how to do that we're gonna go back to the tavern and speak to her yeah, so collect bounty. 190 gold. So that brings us up to 350. Sweet. Sweet. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and go to... We can go to the forge. And we can speak to the blacksmith. And we can sell some weapons here. And we've got a vial, which I'm going to hold on to. And then you can buy coal. Restoration. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave. Because, you know, now that we have new equipment, whoop, 
There we go. Sorry, I misclicked there. Now we have good equipment. We can go and look at our heroes. And you can see what swords they're using. Let's see. Uh, Devious Whirlwind. So this blade is better than what I currently have. I'm going to give him a new blade. And honestly, I think he's the only one that can really take these weapons. And look at now I can use Devious Whirlwind. Deal 7 damage to all the units in the area. Oh, it's like an area of effect. That's so cool. That's awesome. We haven't gotten any new armor or anything. So, And this other sword doesn't look as good. Oh, it does poisoning. Could I give it to someone else? Um, let's see if I exit out of here. What do you use? You use big old blade. You use? Could you use this? I don't think you can. Yeah, like certain classes can't use certain weapons. I don't think. Yeah, see, Tybar cannot equip this type of weapon. Okay. So only like an assassin can do it. So it does poison, uh, but I don't think it's as good as the other swords. So, so there you go. That's how you, you know, you can also like buy armor and stuff, but let's go to the market. I'm going to sell some equipment, show you how that works. So we'll talk to this guy. I think you can sell. It doesn't like matter exactly like who you sell to. I think so if we just click on that and you'll see, we'll gain, we'll gain some money here. We'll sell these flowers and see how our money's going up. Look at that. Look at that. We got iron we could sell. Look at that. We got, okay, but I'm not going to sell it because that's pretty important. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got our medicine. We'll sell that. Um, which is good. Um, and then we'll go ahead and leave. So we made our money there. And then we're going to go to you and uh you know might as well buy some food and here's the cool thing guys eventually you can cook and when you cook you can take resources that like so to make bread i think you need wheat and salt and so you'll get these resources for cheaper than say buying just bread outright but we'll go ahead and uh get some food here make sure we're good to go and uh, yeah, we're looking good. I mean, everybody looks good. We're, we're ready for the next mission. Um, but guys, we are out of time. And I hope this kind of gives you some insight into the game. Also, guys, don't forget, check out my co-op playthrough with Jackie Fish. Jackie is more familiar with the game, especially at the time of that recording. So um, you can definitely learn a lot from the game from that playthrough as well. It's an older version of the game, but it's still, I think it, it shows more of the co-op aspect to the game, which again, I cannot stress enough. This game is so, whether you're playing by yourself, if you're playing by yourself, it's fun. It's really fun. But if you're playing with friends, it just brings it to a different experience. It's, I think it's a lot of fun. And uh, whether you're playing by yourself or with friends, I think you're going to have a blast. So um, guys, Thank you so much for checking out today's video. Thank you to uh, for the sponsorship from Shiro uh, Games. I love this game. It's I think it's a gem. I really do. And I think it's totally worth it. So check out the link down in the video description. Get the game, guys. Go on a grand adventure. Do it in my name, in my honor. All right? Uh, tell it because I, I sent you to this wonderful game. So... Uh, yeah, there's a whole world out there too. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a whole world out there that you got to explore. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time on the battlefield.